Hi Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Um, this card is made with scraps and my next one's going to be made with scraps. I've got loads of them. So I thought I'd use them all up. The stamp sets I'm using is Amazing Life and I'm only using this for the decorative edge. So I'm using that swirly um, image and the dots. Can you see the line of dots? That one. Um, humming along for the sentiment. Wishing you an amazing birthday. And a new one, Butterfly Gala. And I'm going to use that butterfly there, or them two. To make this card, I've got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. I've already rounded the corners. I have two pieces of cardstock with the corners rounded of three and five eighths by no three and seven eighths by five and five eighths. And I've got a scrap of mint macaron measuring two and seven eighths by four and three eighths. And I've also found some old designer series paper scrap, so I thought I'd use that in mint macaron. And to cut out the image, the for the tag, I used humming along, and this one, this tag here. So that's what I've used. I've already cut it out. So to get started you need a scrap of white for your butterflies and that's what we're going to do first. Let's move them so that they can dry before I colour them in. So with my black I'm using Versa Fine Onyx Black Ink. And it is quite a nice ink. It is really brings it out better than the um, other one I used. God, what was that called? Um, God, I can't remember what it was called. Washes off there quite well. And I do try and clean my stamps now as soon as I've used them. Right, and with the sentiment, I shall stick that there. And look how sharp that is. That is just so sharp with that ink. Oh. Right. So that's my black done. And with this dye I would cut that out there, like that. Except I've already done it. What have I done with it? Oh, it's here. And that's what I've got. So we'll ignore that now. Right, we'll put that to one side so them butterflies will dry. Put that away. Put that away. And I'll bring in these because I did do the inside. So we'll do the same with that. So with my mint micron and the like crown I call it, crown stamp, and I just placed them in the corner. With rounding the corners off, 
it's easy to place these you just follow the corner around with the stamp oh, let's do this one as well Misstamp that. Do it again. I rock the stamp. Right. And then with the dots, all I did was find the middle and put it down. And I've just stuck my finger in there. In the middle, and there's your little pattern border. I think it looks quite nice actually. One way of using up the little stamps that you get in your stamp sets, and you're wondering what you're going to do with them. them done. So my stamps cleaned. Now we will just put this oh no got the butterflies. I'm going to paint them in or colour them in using my marker pens. I'm using Daffodil Delight all I'm doing is just colour these in We don't actually need this one, but I'm colouring it in because you could stick it on your envelope, like I've done. I'll show you in a minute. Could have been a bit neater, but right. And with what's this colour? Grapefruit Grove. I'll just add a bit of orange in here. Right, with the little ones, I'm not taking it right to the middle, so I'm going to add some yellow again. Uh, yeah. And that 
is all I did with that. And then I punched them out with the new matching punch. I wonder. I shall keep that and cut that out for another time. Oh, and there's the new punch that goes with you have a big butterfly and a little butterfly. So those are butterflies. And what I did with the pink one. I stuck the spare big butterfly on the corner of the envelope. So, let's get this card stuck together now. My glue is running out. Stuck in the inside. Let's do this. On the outside. Now we do two bits of paper, you want one going that way and this one going that way and then this obviously will stick on there so let's stick these down Right, what we need is some dimensionals for the yeah, I'm running low on these. We'll put three on. With the butterflies what I did I put my thumb on the body and lifted the wings that gives you a little piece of bit just um, glue but what I also did was took a small dimensional cut it in half and added half to the inside of each wing. Take that off. You see what I've done? Just put a half of it on each side of the bit I'm going to glue. And I place that down there. It's 
stick down. What's that? Did the same with the little one. Put the thumb on either side of the body and lift the wings. These don't have dimensionals. These just have glue. Right, I stuck one up here. This one I just stuck there. And that I would stick on the envelope. I haven't got an envelope with me here, so I'll save that and stick on an envelope. So there you have it. A quick and easy card using up scraps. That's all that, apart from the card base and the white, but this and these is all from scraps. So go through. Do I take that off? I did. Just hold them down. That is glued down. The reason I put them um, dimensionals under the wing is to keep it up. When it goes through the post, obviously they'll get flattened. But as soon as you take it out the envelope, it will spring back up. So there you have it. Let's come in a bit. No. There you have two pretty cards, I think. Just made from real scraps. If you like my cards, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe and press the notification bell button. And you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.